Hi, this is Troy with TabSite. Today, I'm excited to introduce TabSite Microsites. Microsites are a great way to get your fan page content indexed in Google and push more traffic back to your fan page. Uh, what we're looking at here is a actual microsite of our tab site. It pulls in our, our icon, uh, gives us some, some tools to work with. It's basically mimicking the, the tab site content that you have out there and putting it into a, a website, allowing Google to more easily index that information. So this is the front side of things. We have a Twitter feed on the right-hand column. We have um, all of our information up here, links and all that All that goes back to our, our fan page and drives traffic right back to that fan page. The like button, find us on Facebook. Uh, these are great tools and great ways to push traffic back to your fan page from your microsite. I'd like to show you a little bit about the backend manager. So this is the manager in the back end. As you can see, clicking on microsite manager on the left will take you to the microsite management tools. Uh, the first tab you come to is microsite name. So you want to name your microsite. Ours is named tabsite, so our URL is tabsite.com slash tabsite. Um, your URL can be whatever your company name is. So tabsite.com slash, you know, your name can go there. So that's the first thing you want to want to do. You want to check availability, and we encourage you to do that as fast as possible because it is on a first come first serve basis, and you want to make sure you get the name that you want for your company before before someone else does. The next tab on the list is order and publish. This allows you to publish the content live on your microsite or unpublish it by selecting the green circle or red circle. You can toggle on or off. Green is on, red is unpublished, green is published. You can also order these by just dragging them to a certain order. You can, you can move them around and put them in any order you choose. Next is social sharing. Social sharing is a great way to add interaction to your microsite for uh, Facebook like buttons, Facebook send buttons, uh, Google plus one, Twitter. I'm going to turn all these on. Uh, I'm going to go back to this microsite. Um, I'm going to reload that. And as you can see, these icons all show up here, uh, allowing people to interact with my microsite and doing, you know, Facebook send, tweet, Google plus one, or a like button there as well. Toggling back to the manager area, I want to take a look at the SEO tools. SEO tools are a great resource. Uh, what they do is help you fine tune and hone your content and letting you know keyword density, uh, metadata, title tags, things like that for your microsite. Uh, the, the top area here is Google Analytics. You can add Google Analytics code, code with our gold package so you can track more, more analytics through, through Google on your microsite. Uh, below that, you'll see that it has the Welcome tab. These are all your main level tabs. Welcome, Photo Show, Blog, and Twitter are all main level tabs. And then these are sub tabs within here. So we have a, a Welcome sub tab, a Blog sub tab. This check indicates that it's published. We see that we've had 27 microsite views. So it tells us how often that microsite is being being seen. Then it also goes into Facebook page views. It shows how many times that Facebook fan page has been seen as well. Uh, keyword density is is the is a great tool. It allows you to choose how dense the keyword population is on your on your uh, fan page so you can choose single word two word three word four word and so forth and, and the optimal range is three to seven percent google tells us that they want to keep the optimal text at three to seven percent so as you massage your text on your tab site you can check the density of it and make sure it hits that range and, and the keyword that you put in there um, hits that range you're more likely to be found on Google and push people to your microsite. Edit tags allows you to do just that. It allows you to edit uh, title tags, keyword descriptions, and so forth for your microsite. Uh, you can save that data as well. We understand that Google, Google doesn't place a lot of weight on uh, metadata at this time, but title tags are important and uh, it's still good common practice to have that metadata in there. Next is the column editor. Uh, the column editor allows you to control that right-hand column. For all gold accounts, it can control that right-hand column of information. So as you can see here, we have a Twitter feed in here. Um, you can add anything you want in there. You have your full suite of widgets to add content in there. So first of all, we have to select a, uh, a page to add column from the right column information to. So as you can see, this, is, this mimics what we have on there. We've added a Twitter feed in here. As you can see on the right-hand side, you have your full suite of tools to add information to your right-hand column just as you would with the, the normal drag and build system within your within your tab site. So that's a quick outline of 
of the microsite and we're excited about microsites and think these will help generate a lot of traffic to your fan page. Thank you.